A triangle has sides of length 8, 10, and x. Which of the following could be the value of x? Indicate all such values. All right, so go ahead, pause the video, give yourself the appropriate amount of time at about 1 minute and 30 seconds, and then press play when you're ready. So let's go ahead and go about the solution here. This kind of problem, when we see it, there's a pretty straightforward way. And it's based off of the triangle inequality theorem. So if you don't know what the theorem is, that's okay. But basically what it means is, let's say you have, you know, the three sides of a triangle. And let's say it's A, B, and C for conversation's sake. What needs to happen is that any two sides, so if you add them together, it has to be greater than the third side. If that isn't true, then what happens is you don't have a triangle. So you can do A plus B is greater than C. You can do B plus C is greater than A. All I'm saying is any two sides added together is greater than the third. So that's the straightforward way of thinking about it. Um, and you can do that here, but watch this. The shortcut method here takes no thinking. I'm going to grab the two numbers that they give me, 8 and 10. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them and subtract them. And basically, any numbers that fall in between those are my answers. So 10 plus 8 is 18, and 10 minus 8 is two. So our numbers are going to be between two and 18. Pick anything that fits it. And if we check it out, we have B and C fit that description and we're done. So hopefully that helps. Uh, but again, if we're going about it in a pure mathematical way, uh, listen up here, cause I'm not going to repeat it in the following videos. But if we grab uh, eight plus 10 has to be greater than X. So 18 is greater than X. And the other way that you can write it is x is less than 18. And then the other way, assuming that 10 is the biggest side, we would say 8 plus x is greater than 10. By subtracting 8 on both sides, we would get x is greater than 2. So again, this brings us to the exact conclusion that we got to earlier with that little shortcut rule. So the shortcut rule just stems from the understanding of the triangle inequality theorem. So again, and get to practice on this. We have uh, three or four more problems right after this that are exactly like this one. So try them out, time yourself, and let's get cracking.